I told you they come back. Why do you do that? <laughs> because it makes me feel tingly inside. It's enjoyable. <laughs> yeah. So, Clifford and I analyzed the data. I mean, Clifford analyzed the data, and I analyzed Clifford. Let me give you an example of my sort of thinking. Hey, could you stop it with the keynote thing? Uh, sorry, can I make a call here? Hello? Who's this? I'm calling you from a top secret former government facility. I told you, we told you to return to civilian life, Avon. It was all a setup, shortstop. Shortstop? <laughs> I always wanted to call someone that. Uh, listen, you're going to get us all killed. It's as clear as the very natural-looking hair on my head. What are you talking about? They're not plugs. Don't you see that the fact that they told you to fire me proves beyond all reasonable doubt that you were wrong and this is a conspiracy? Let me give you an analogy. Why are you talking like that? It really annoyed people when you were working on site. I'm a visionary. I see things. Listen, I'm running late to a departmental potluck, so... Fuck your potluck! This is about stopping a fucking war! Not that again. Goodbye, Avon. See you on planet Earth one of these days. Potluck? Of course. Of course, it's... it's now! It's fucking now! Clifford is right, the data is clear, it's right now. The entire department is out sharing meatloaf and potato salad so their base can be permanently shut down. We have to do something now. Right, well, we are a bunch of armed felons and you're breaking all kinds of security clearances and discussing the musings of a badly named computer. No police force in the world is going to believe us. You'll have to go there and stop it right now. I'll pay. I'll pay whatever it takes. It takes a lot. All right, off we go, huh? I'll keep you posted. Come on, let's go.